and I think, number one, one of the things we have to remember is um, not only are parents responsible for their children in all aspects, but parents have the best interest of their children at heart. Most of the parents who are making these decisions to not vaccinate their children are not doing this in a vacuum. Um, I resent the fact sometimes that a government thinks that parents are not smart, not, not informed, are looking at the wrong websites, are listening to the wrong voices, are somehow not able to get to good, reliable information and make an informed decision that they believe is in the best interest of their children. What about uh, the argument, though, that um, that if you choose not to vaccinate your child, uh, that you risk um, you risk my child uh, getting sick? Well, I think parents actually weigh that argument, Joy. Um, I think they look at the evidence of where of whether or not we've had any kind of massive outbreaks on some of these diseases that we now vaccinate for. And I want to interject here. The number of vaccinations in our country has just exploded. Drive by a Walgreens. I mean, they're so accessible on every corner. Mm -hmm. And, And you see six or eight different vaccinations that are available for the adult population and or the, the kids. And I believe that um, this is being pushed by by probably people who stand to make, uh, you know, I'm not saying they're, they're terribly, uh, terribly intentioned. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm trying not to impugn motives, but it just looks suspicious when you see this, this explosion of vaccinations. And, and what we know is we haven't had horrible outbreaks of childhood diseases that have been life-threatening, and we do know, and parents who do the research on it will tell you, vaccinations come with some risk. I just heard the tail end of the interview you did with a gentleman before. He said vaccinations aren't perfect. Sometimes these things happen even if we have entire populations uh, vaccinated. And so I don't think parents are saying, well, I'm, I'm, not, going to take, I'm not going to vaccinate my child, but I'm, I, I don't care if the entire school district, for instance, is put at risk. That just hasn't been borne out in in reality. We've always had bad parenting. We've always had situations where parents have uh, failed in one way or another in the parenting of their children. When it comes to medical decisions, those medical decisions need to be made, or at least the, well, I'll just stop with that. Those decisions need to rest ultimately with the parent. Let's go to Barbara in Madison. Hello, Barbara. Yes, I'm a retired nurse in my 70s. I remember the devastating effects of some of these uh, diseases. I remember the lasting effects, mental retardation, disease, and death. And we don't have it now because of vaccinations. I've talked to several of the women who don't want to vaccinate, and they seem to think these diseases are fairly benign and, oh, we can give them antibiotics. Well, most of them are viral. Antibiotics don't work. And yes, they're fairly benign in many of the children, but not all of them. If we stop vaccinating and go back to this problem, we're going to have children that are permanently hurt and dead as a result of it. Now, when she's talking HPV and Hep B, these are not diseases that are easily communicated, are communicable among children. That's a different issue. But when she's talking mumps, measles, rubella, reveal of those things she needs to understand how dev- and polio right and they um uh, p- people die from those things uh, julaine appling so that's why it shouldn't be uh, just a, a a parental well, choice well i think it's i think it's a an overreach to say that i've said that we should do away with vaccinations i'm arguing that parents should have the right to make that determination jeff and appleton go ahead oh absolutely should not be eliminated uh if once we allow the government to tell us which medical procedures we need to undergo and they mandate it, they also have the right to say which medical procedures we cannot undergo. Um, just a bad idea. All right. Thank you very much, Jeff. Next we go to Nick in Madison. Hello, Nick. Hello. I've got two small boys. I absolutely despise every time they get vaccinations, but the simple fact of it is that if I do not get the vaccinations, I put other children's lives at risk, uh, and I'm not willing to do that. Thank you very much, Nick. We'll go to Angela in Milwaukee. Hi, Angela. Hi. um, I definitely think that it should not be eliminated. I think that that choice should remain with parents. 
Um, I agree with your guest about the fact that um, the HPV and the chicken pox, I mean, my kids all got, my older kids all got the chicken pox. There were no complications, luckily. Um, I think we should question the ingredients 